In this work, we present a framework for solving disassembly sequence problems. A key idea to this framework is flexibility, making many different solving strategies easy to achieve. Both exhaustive and greedy methods have been implemented. We generally try more simple separation techniques first before moving on to more expensive and versatile methods like RRT. Moving parts and formation is supported and opens up easily parallelizable aspects to disassembly planning. In our implementation, we only use this after attempting each part on its own. It's always faster to plan without rotations when possible, but when that is not feasible, this framework supports using rotations when removing parts. We will see an example of this later. Note that our simple translation separation approach never considers rotations but could in the future to help remove screw-like parts. In this example, only single parts are allowed to be moved and rotations are not considered. As parts are removed, they remain suspended until no more parts can be removed. It is actually found that each of these parts can be removed simultaneously and would therefore naturally translate to a multi-agent plan. Each set of parts that teleports is getting set off to the side then planning resumes without those parts in place any longer. Here we see the same example, but instead subassemblies were manually predefined and forced to be the first thing attempted. Each subassembly is successfully removed then place it off to the side to finally separate the parts of the subassembly completely. This is easily parallelizable and is another natural fit for multi agent planning problems. Eventually, once each of the subassemblies has been disassembled, we declare success. As opposed to the previous examples, this is now our unmodified preemptive DFS technique. First you see the four screws easily removed using the simple translation approach. Then the two large parts are still fastened together, requiring rotation for disassembly. They are analyzed to be a subassembly and then set off to the side. Now rotation is used to fully separate the final two parts and then success is declared.